Hello guys, my name is Willem and welcome to LR DX Cars. Now you can see I'm in the beautiful Monaco, Monte Carlo in the south of France. You can check out some very cool cars for you. And I have a very good view here from my apartment. I don't know if you guys can see it in the background. That is the Rolex Masters tennis game playing at the moment. Cool stadium. But uh, yeah, we are not here for the tennis, we are here for cars for the sports cars, so uh, enjoy watching this video, we will uh, go take a look at the casino of course and all the supercar dealers they have here at Monaco, I will in, the, in another video also go take a look at the collection of the Prince of Monaco, he has uh, more than 100 cars <laughs> by himself, so yeah it's a very big collection but also a lot of hyper cars there, so yeah we're gonna take a look at that also in another video, but uh, for today I'm going to give you a quick tour around Monaco. I've uh, been here a couple of times, but for the people that maybe haven't already visited Monaco ever, yeah, it's nice to show you the, the most noticeable places and of course the car spotting places that maybe when you are here you know where to go car spotting and where to find all the cool cars. And yeah, most of the car people will already know that. Uh, at the Casino Square and uh, some other places are uh, always a good spot, but yeah, we'll maybe show you some other spots that you maybe didn't know before. So yeah, enjoy watching guys, thanks for watching and yeah, let's get started here in Monaco. Hello guys, like you can see our first stop, the McLaren dealership here in Monaco, behind the streets where all the famous F1 drivers of course live. And like you can see there is a cool Senna inside, also a 765LT, I will uh, take a closer look for you guys. I also found the way inside and I can see this silver color McLaren Senna. I of course already did a full review about the McLaren Senna. Also make some b-roll of course with this car. But yeah, if you want to know more about the McLaren Senna, go watch the full review of the McLaren Senna. And the car that I haven't talked so much about in detail is this McLaren 765 LT like you can see behind me. It's based on the McLaren 720S and yeah like you can see it's a more track focused model with a lot of more aero parts on the car like you can see the air scoops also some extra side curves and things like that yeah we'll talk more about this car in this video also because yeah we haven't seen it already like the name says the car has 765 horsepower of course it's a more orange metallic exterior color yeah you can see the front lip is extended with these extra louvers on the side, also very big air intakes behind the front lights where you can see the radiators behind, even an extra air outlet there, also of course in the front nose a lot of air intakes, even some air outlets here on the bonnet, finished in a nice carbon fiber, also here nice Air outlets, also of course to cool the front wheel arches and the brakes of course. I can see an outlet above but also an outlet on the side that the air can float right in the door. You can see right between there and we'll go out on the side of the car. And we see here also an extra side skirt with a nice 765LT naming on. Then you see also there an extra air intake that will go to the 
V8 engine. It's like I said, a V8 twin turbo engine with 765 horsepower. You can't see that much of the engine because you have a little parcel self. And yeah, the engine also has 800 newton meters of torque. The 0 to 100 or the 0 to 62 time will be in 2.8 seconds, which is, I think, very, very fast for a rear wheel driven car. And yeah, the top speed of this car is 330 kilometers an hour. Then, like most of the McLarens, they have the wing doors that open up. Then, like you can see, also some extra air intakes on the side panel of the car that also, of course, go to the engine. A twin turbo engine always needs all the cooling. And we have also some extra air outlets on the side of the car. If I take a quick look on the inside, you can see the interior is actually spec for track use. Like you can see the full roll cage and the Senna seats on the inside, the lightweight carbon fiber Senna seats. Very beautiful orange piping on the seats, some orange Alcantara finishes. Now you can see the special pattern in the seats. Yeah, looks very good. Then if you come to the back, you can see all the mesh parts is of course to let all the hot air out. And we see the rear spoiler is up at the moment. It will of course be used to create a lot of downforce on the rear because it's a rear wheel driven car of course. And we see this spoiler is finished in beautiful carbon fiber. Very cool finish. Just as the finish here on the air outlets that go to the meshes, all the meshes on the rear of the car that all the hot air can float out. Yeah, the most noticeable feature, of course, for this 765 LT is the four exhausts in the center. Very cool exhausts. And of course, because yeah, this is the LT car, it's a real track-based car. The car has a full diffuser, like you can see. You can even see the gearbox behind. And all the air openings on the rear tires also to let all the hot air out. Very cool. The layers in the diffuser. Also the extra panels to let the air float over the car. Very cool. And we can see almost through here. You can see all the cabling and all the carbon parts. Very cool look to it. 765LT is almost like the third car in the generation of the LTs that they already had a one before, but they had the 765LT, which is based on the 650S McLaren. Then the 600LT, which is based on the 570S McLaren. And then you have this, the 765LT, which is based on the 720, like I told. Yeah, this is, of course, the <laughs> fastest car at the moment, I think. I think it will even be very fast against the McLaren P1. That's also here on the inside. The very big carbon fiber, full matte carbon fiber on the exterior. On the rear wing. Yeah, the exterior color is sort of liquid silver color, which with a lot of flag in it. The metallic really pops, which gives sort of a special look to it. Then we see the wheels are also in a more brushed silver finish. Most of the time, a lot of customers will pick them in black or in gray, but yeah, this car has the more silver look to it, which yeah, really matches the silver exterior color with the rosso brakes behind. All the matte carbon fiber continuing. The big air intake. And the Senna seats, like I told, which are also in the 765LT. Nice roof scoop above. Yeah, the McLaren Senna, yeah, really track focused car, but I think the 765LT also is a very track focused. I think that car had 765 horsepower, like I said, and this car has 800. Of course, the rear wheel will, of course, create a lot more downforce on the rear of the car. But yeah, I think um, it will be a neck and neck race between these two. And yeah, we will go take a further look because yeah, they have a lot of supercar dealers here that I want to show to you.
then if you walk a few steps further from the McLaren dealership, you have the Ferrari dealership here also in Monaco, like you can see behind me. Very cool Roma, uh, Portofino, even the, you know, I'm standing in front of it, the Forte GT3 car that I will show to you. Then they have a F8 here on the outside, also an F8 Spider. And something very special they have here on the inside is this, I don't know if you can see it, the Ferrari La Ferrari behind me. One of 499 cars in the world with the V12 that generates 963 horsepower. Very cool car. And then they also have the SF90 on the inside and another 48 GT3 car. Like there is in the back the real track cars of Ferrari. Probably the most fun cars to drive. And yeah, we will take a quick look at these cars here and go further. If you take another 10 steps further, we are here at the Aston Martin dealership. They are, I think, all in the same street. The Aston Martin of Monaco here. They have a very special livery of this DB11 Volante. Sort of Tiger team. Very cool. Then we have the new Aston Martin Vantage here also. And I don't know if you can see it in the back. There also is the Speedster model of Aston Martin. And this very cool full blacked out DBX of Aston Martin, the Jeep. And yeah, if you want to know more about the Speedster that's stuck in the corner, I did a full review about the Aston Martin Speedster. So yeah, go check it out if you're interested. And yeah, we will keep walking further towards the Casino Square. And yeah, maybe show you some other cool spots. Then like you can see the famous tunnels, one on that side and the other one on the other side of the Formula One, where all the cars always make the nice sounds. But yeah, like you can see they are currently working at the moment. So yeah, we'll... Uh, Take a further look. Then if you walk further, you can see the curbs of the F1 circuit. Because yeah, next month uh, the Formula 1 will be here for uh, their yearly adventure here in Monaco. But yeah, the curbs, like I showed to you, are always here in Monaco. <laughs> of course, yeah, because it's a uh, street circuit they always leave the curbs behind the roads and yeah like you can see behind me the very famous corner here very corner famous corner where all the f1 cars always come through a very cool corner to the show to you guys it's also a very good place to spot cars always and yeah the famous nobu is the name of the hotel that's here I'm gonna Maybe stand a bit up here, like you can see very cool Rolls Royce. They always have some cool cars here. So yeah, if you're nearby, come check the hotel here out. And yeah, we will walk, walk further. You can see the special corner. I don't know how to call it, the full U corner. That the cars really need to almost stop the car to make the turn. And yeah, I'll keep walking further for you. I found myself here on the Casino Square, the famous Casino Square, where all the cool cars are parked at the Hotel de Paris. Yeah, we'll uh, take a quick look at all the cool cars that are here.
Uh, you can see behind me the Heber here in Monte Carlo where all the big yachts are. And like you can see, I don't know if you can see it in the back, there are also the stages of the Formula One that's next month. It's all ready and prepared for the Formula One. And yeah, we'll keep walking further in that corner if you walk further here. It's also a very known place. Then, like you can see all the very, very big yachts here. I think, uh, yeah, the difference is there. You can see which ones are the very big ones. Very beautiful yacht place here in Monaco. There are always some cool boats to spot. Not only cool cars here, but also cool boats. And yeah, like you can see the beautiful city here. It's the small mountain city. Where the castle of the prince is on top of that mountain. And yeah, we came from that side. Where on top of, I don't know if you can see it. Is the casino. Yeah, we'll keep walking further. Show you some other cool places. There are also a lot of supercars. So, yeah, enjoy with me. Like you can see, even the railing of the Formula One is already ready for the Formula One. Thanks to those guys that are everything, are preparing everything for the Formula One. I think they are already working two or three months in advance to get everything ready here. Because yeah, because it's a street circuit, it's always a lot of work to put the railing and all the tribunes next to the Formula One circuit. Also, the whole paddock needs to be built up. So yeah, real big uh, respect to those guys. And you can see here is the very first corner of the Formula One circuit. I think everybody holds its heart always in place that all the cars get to the first corner in one piece. Then we will be going up here, right to the Casino Square. First corner that I showed to you. Very fast corner and then up to above. We also see some of the paddock buildings where the staff and all the engineers will be sitting during the race. Then, like you can see, we're now walking on the pit lane where the cars will go in the pit lane where all the pit crew will be located. And then you have all the places to sit. You can see a very big tribune here. Then, like you can see, a very fast corner here, little S turn where the cars, I think, against 250 will be going through. <laughs> and like you can see, they are still. Uh, Working everywhere to get everything nice in place for the Formula One. And like you can see, they even painted some new curbs here behind the railing. Yeah, the final touches are getting worked on. Yeah, guys, I think I found the spot of the day. Very special color of A12 that's parked here. That we showed you, and yeah, you can see some yeah not that small yachts next to me. <laughs> Even very big ones, and then here you have it, the spot. I saw it even from above, above there. I think the exterior color is the Verde Francesca with a special gold livery of line and also the nice gold wheels this car has. Real, real stunning spec this car. Congratulations to the owner. He really went uh, all the way in. This uh, spec is also something I would choose. see most of the boats here, the yachts are yeah, even as big as a hotel, I think. They all have more than 10 rooms in them, all have three levels, all different livings and different kitchen areas and places to eat, yeah. The boats here in Monaco are really something else, I think. They can see they even can tuck a, another boat in there. Then you have here the famous tunnel where the Formula One will be going through. Also, also very good place to spot cars because a lot of small cars will be passing here and making a lot of nice sound there in the tunnel. I forgot to say to you guys, between the McLaren showroom there, 
En de vraag is ook om daar wil ze even Rolls Royce of cars. Dus ja, yeah, if you ever McLaren of Ferrari, you also need a Rolls Royce. So we'll also quickly check those cars out for you. Like I was saying, you also have the Rolls Royce motor showroom here. Very cool Cullinan. I think it's a sort of grey color next to it, uh, another Cullinan. With a very special pinstripe, the orange pinstripe and the orange interior. The orange calibers, really cool look to it. This is a more classy spec. And we also have the new ghost here, also with a beautiful orange pinstripe. Also on the center wheels, from the center caps of the wheels. Yeah, good look. So yeah, guys, now you know where you need to be. I would love to say a very big thanks to you guys all for watching. I hope uh, I got I let I got to show you some of the cool spots here in Monaco for supercar spotting and also some cool supercars. So yeah, please leave a like, subscribe on the channel, and see you in the next video. Bye.